know if these are actually sci-fi and fantasy because I suck at genres. I don't know the difference between books genres. I just read them and then never find out what they are. So if these aren't sci-fi fantasy, I'm sorry, but they are now in my head. So deal with it. Hey guys, it's Jay and today I'm here with a, another Top 5 of Wednesday video. Top 5 Wednesday was originally created by Lainey over at Gingery's Lainey and it is now run by Sam over at Thoughts on Tomes. So I'll leave both their links down below as well as the Goodreads group if you guys want to check out the topics and whatnot. This week's topic is in link with the SFF Awards so I'll leave all that information down below if you want to check that out as well. But it is to say our top five fantasy or science fiction books that we want to read. So what's on our TBR? I just kind of went to my shelf because my TBR is a million trillion books long and just picked out five that I know that I want to read and I've spit on my shelf for like a million gajillion years. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> First book is The Days of Blood and Starlight by Lainey Taylor. This is the second book in the Daughter of Smoke and Bones trilogy. This has been on my shelf for so long now. I think I read Daughters of Smoke and Bone last year and I really liked it. I think I gave it like a four out of five stars. I don't really remember. But I've had the second and third book for a million years and I just haven't got into it because they're hefty. And if you've been on this channel for a while, you know that Jay's afraid of hefty books. So, it's gonna happen this year, hold me to it, but this is number one on my TBR for fantasy and sci-fi that needs to get done. The second book on my TBR for science fiction, fantasy, is The Scorpion Rules by Aaron Bow. I won this off of a giveaway like a while ago, but it sounds so cool. In this world, there's this thing called Hostage of Peace, and basically it means that in each kingdom, they send one of their children to be a hostage of peace, and if you go to war with another kingdom, then your hostage dies, and it follows a princess named Greta, who is the hostage of peace for her kingdom. And she always follows the rules, blah, blah, blah. And then a, another hostage of peace comes into play, and his name is Aelin. And he decides that he doesn't want to follow the rules, and he brings Greta with him, and madness ensues. But it just sounds really cool, and I want to know what happens, and just the cover is really cool too. So I just, I just want to read it, and that was a really bad description of this book, but it sounds cool. Look it up on Goodreads if you actually want to know like a good description of it. The third book on my list is The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. I know, you're probably saying, Jay. You have said you're going to read this book 20 million times. Yeah, it still hasn't happened. But it's on the TBR, and everybody says I need to read it because it's amazing. And, you know, like, eventually, it'll happen, like I say for all these books. It's just so hefty, you know? And I just, I, I don't, I don't do hefty books. Apparently I started it, I'm on page four, so I should just take that out because really, we haven't started. The fourth book on my sci-fi fantasy TBR is The Winner's Curse by Mary Ruchowski. So many people have read this trilogy and loved it, and I found the entire trilogy at a thrift store, so I was like, I need it. So I got it. And it's been sitting on my shelf since. So you know, like, eventually we'll get to it, when that will be, again. I don't know. It sounds like it's gonna be cool, so we're gonna read it, hopefully this summer, when Jay's out of school. So my fifth and final book has been on my TBR since I started this booktube channel like two years ago, and it's Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas. No, I still have not read this book. It will happen, like every other book, on this TBR. Hopefully, all of these books are going to be read by the summer. Hold me to it. If I don't have a wrap-up with all five of these books, yell at me, okay? Just like leave in the comments and be like, Jay, you said you were going to read all these books and you didn't do it. Shame on you. Then like unsubscribe to me, but like don't unsubscribe to me. Just say you unsubscribe to me so I like feel bad about my life. And then read the book. And then you can come back and subscribe to me and watch the wrap-up where I say I love the book. Good plan. Alright guys, there is my top five Wednesday for this week. Let me know if you've read any of these books and if you like them. And I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!